Hello Divine Souls, welcome back to my channel, Twin Flames Exposed. My name is Terry. I hope you're safe and doing well. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So let's see what good things are coming in for you in love and money. I'm going to pull three cards to see who's coming towards you guys in love. You have the star, the hierophant, and the nine of pentacles. All I can say is good things come to those who wait. So you have someone coming in that's going to surpass what you have been manifesting. This is definitely a soulmate. The star is wish fulfillment and your hopes and dreams coming true. The Hierophant is a committed relationship which is going to lead to marriage if you want it. And with the Nine of Pentacles, this person is single and they have hella cash. This person is very abundant. They either have their own business or they're an executive of a company. But whatever they're doing, they're at the top of the ladder. You are not going to be in want of anything with this person. This person is a boss. They're loyal. They're a provider. They're goal-oriented. They're attractive. They're also very intellectual. They're reliable. They have integrity. They're kind and caring. And most importantly, collective, this person is emotionally available. I'm also seeing an age difference here. This person could be a little bit older than you. And there's something surrounding spirituality. You have been praying for someone who is God-fearing. And this person has a strong connection with God. For some of you, you're going to meet this person at a church function or a retreat. But I'm seeing something faith-based. And you're going to be meeting them within the next nine weeks. So let's pull one card from the Lover's Oracle. What else can you tell us about this person, Holy Spirit? It says... The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So it looks like your prayers are going to be answered for those of you who are wanting a new relationship. And this is going to lead to a higher level of commitment. All right, let's see what your finances are going to be looking like. I'm going to be pulling three cards as well. You have the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Six of Pentacles. And you have the Queen of Pentacles. All I can say is someone is about to get paid. If you have been manifesting a new job, a career, a business opportunity, or wanting to venture out into entrepreneurship, now is the time. If you have been dragging your feet, you are going to miss out on this beautiful opportunity coming in for you. The Wheel of Fortune is about change. A fresh start, fate, destiny, and luck. I'm seeing a career change. Someone is walking away from a dead-end job. You're tired of the negativity. You're tired of the drama. Along with the low wages or salary, you're either going to find something better doubling your salary or you're going to finally venture out on your own and start this business that you have been procrastinating about. And for those of you who have your own business and it's been a little bit slow, it's going to pick up. The Holy Spirit is saying that you need to make some minor changes in order for you to see the results. The Six of Pentacles also represents wealth and prosperity. With this coming out right after the Wheel of Fortune, someone is going to be getting a windfall, some kind of stroke of luck. I'm seeing unexpected money. I'm hearing stock market, investments, lottery winnings, or your business is going to be picking up drastically. I'm also seeing that someone is going to give you money. Maybe someone owed you some money and you're going to be getting that back is what I'm seeing here. This could also be an inheritance. And if you guys applied for a personal loan for a car or a house or just a personal loan in general, it's going to go through. Yeah, I'm seeing someone is trying to buy a home and you're going to get it. Some of you could also be trying to remodel your home and you're wanting to take a loan out maybe a home equity loan. And I'm seeing that you're going to get approved for that as well. And with the Queen of Pentacles, this is a card on success and financial security. A lot of you are working on your nest egg and planning for the future. Some of you are also thinking about retirement and you're building your 401k and it's looking very beautiful. The Queen of Pentacles is all about financial independence. This is someone who is very responsible with their money. And as you can see, this is the last card. So that's telling me that everything that you have been working hard at, all the blood, sweat, and tears that you have been putting into this business, 
or if you guys have just been praying about a new career change, it's going to happen for you. You are going to be sitting on your throne looking pretty and counting your coins because all your hard work is going to pay off. So the wheel is turning in your favor collective regarding your finances. And I'm seeing a drastic change happening for you guys in the next six weeks. And let's wrap up with one Oracle card from the Angels of Abundance. It says, do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. You also have to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. So that's pretty much what I was saying. You guys have to do the work. You have to stop procrastinating, jump out there and take a leap of faith. And it looks like any money decisions that you make within the next 30 days, the will is turning in your favor. I hope you have enjoyed this message. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and light always.